In this training video for Dragonfly 3, we're going to look at the Movie Maker tool, which is used for computing an animation in 3D. The dataset we have loaded here is a Walnut Micro CT scan hosted on the Volrein website found at University of Munster. To get started, I'm going to double click on my 3D scene so I can have it enlarged. In order to activate the Movie Maker tool, I can right click and choose Open Movie Maker. This creates a Movie Maker film strip that's active below. The first frame is automatically inserted for you. I can change the frame simply by changing what's on screen and then right clicking on the frame and telling it to update that keyframe. The way the movie is made is by stitching together a series of keyframes that make an animation that tell your story. So for example if I want to rotate I can move the scene to another view it can have rotation, it can also have zoom and then I can add a snapshot keyframe. Then the animation film strip will allow you to interpolate the translation, the rotation, and the zoom between the different keyframes. If I want to remove a keyframe, I can right click and choose remove. I can also select a keyframe and go to the add edit rotation button, which will allow me to apply a strict rotation on a single axis. So if I want to rotate the sample this direction by 40 degrees, I can key in 40 and click OK. Now you can see that the animation goes from here to here. You can also change the timing of the movie just by changing where the keyframes appear. So this rotation can occur over a 10 second duration or a 20 second duration or a duration of just a few seconds. Let's suppose after going to this keyframe, and I can restore a keyframe just by double clicking on it, the next thing I want to do is apply some clip. I'm going to double click so I can see my clip box. When I turn on clip box, I can see the clip box in the scene in 2D and 3D. What I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the clip box so that I see only a part of the back of the walnut. Now I'll turn off clip box. I'll come back here and double click. At the same time I'm applying that clip operation, I may want to apply a zoom or a zoom and a pan and a rotate. I can do this and now if I right click and tell it to add a snapshot keyframe, now the animation will go from the first keyframe to the second keyframe and from the second keyframe to the third keyframe I'm applying a clip and a zoom and maybe a little bit of a pan. At the same time if I want other transitions I can embody those as well. I can double click on this keyframe to recall it and now I can change the state of this keyframe just like I always change my behavior in Dragonfly with the normal user interface. For example, if I want to come here and change the 3D lookup table, I can change it to this lookup table, and I can right click and tell it to update the keyframe. Now on this transition, it will not only be applying a rotation, a clip change, and a zoom and a pan, but it also interpolates from the grayscale lookup table to the color lookup table. Once you've computed all the keyframes and positioned the timing the way you want, you can always review the movie by dragging the slider, you can always hit play to see how the animation plays out. And when you're ready to create the movie, you can click on export animation. Here you get to choose the dimensions of the movie, either from a drop down box or by keying in the dimensions explicitly here. The frame rate, as well as how long the movie will take place. You don't have to start at the beginning of the movie. If you wanted to start somewhere else in the timeline, you could key that in here. You also have the ability to choose the codec and the container the movie is encoded into and the bitrate. Finally, you can either choose to save as a video file, which will use this container, or you can choose to save as a frame sequence, in which case all of the individual frames, 30 frames per second over 9 seconds, would all be stored in a file. Those could be later imported into some other 3D tool, uh, some other movie making tool for authoring a movie from those individual frames. So. The basic behavior of the Movie Maker tool is to allow you to create keyframes that move from one part of your story to the next, and then Dragonfly gently interpolates between those keyframes to tell your story. So that concludes this tutorial on the Movie Maker, and when you're done, you can simply close Movie Maker. Thank you.